Hey guys, welcome back to a new video and a new round of PAW of Philips App Wars. Um, so in case you missed the last round, now is a new round starting and it's basically a challenge in which you get to make an app within a month that you will then submit to my email and I will then review all of your apps and yeah, just show the best three in a video and also the best three will get to choose one of my paid courses for free. The recent round just finished, so in case you missed it, just check out that round in which you should make a meme app, so basically any type of app around the topic of memes. You can just be very creative with it. Um, but even though if you didn't miss it and even if you maybe participated, still watch this video because there are some changes in the rules. So on the one hand, you can find the rules in this video's description, which are probably a little bit more detailed, but I will also go through them in short here. And at the end of this video, don't miss it, I will announce the topic for this month's PAW. So in the end, as I said, you make an app around the topic that I give you in this, in this video here at the end. Um, as I said, be very creative. You can do anything as long as it has something to do with the topic I give you. And then after a month, which is in this case, August 10th, 3 p.m. Central European summertime. So that is the deadline where you need to submit the projects to. Um, any submissions that come later, I will ignore these. So make sure to, to use a time converter, to convert your time to European time, and then you're good to go. You will then submit these to my email address, mail at pl-coding.com. And such a submission consists of a public GitHub repository, um, where I can simply access your project and just pull it. In case your app somehow needs access to, like, let's say Firebase, let's say a backend server and you have an API key that you don't want to push to GitHub, then just leave it out, send me that GitHub repository. And in addition, you send me an APK file of your app. Then in that email, you just describe what your app should do in a few sentences. And something that changed here to the last time is that I would also like you to just submit some screenshots, like one screenshot per screen of your app. Um, so I can just get a quick first impression because um, yeah, it, it really takes a lot of time to go through all these submissions and having a first impression of your app really helps to evaluate all that. Alternatively, if you don't want to attach screenshots, you can also, also just um, attach a screen recording of your app, just maybe one minute showing what it does. As in the last time, it is allowed to work together with a friend. So in total, there can be two people working on one submission. That is okay, but not more than that. I will then rate your apps in three categories. On the one hand, UI, so how good does it look? Then I will rate it in UX, so how intuitive, can, how intuitive is it to use it? Um, are there any weird crashes? Um, any weird things that, that I would like to have. And finally, in the category code, which I will only rate for the top submissions because that really takes a lot of time. Um, so just how good is your code quality? Do you use an architecture? Do you use the code best practices? And stuff like that. In the recent PW, I also rated the idea. So how, how good do I like the idea? How applicable is it in the real life? Which I won't do in this, in this PAW. So I will take out this idea category um, because I found it quite hard to evaluate and there were just a lot of very similar apps. Um, so yeah, that's, that's why I just leave that idea out. Um, I will of course take it somewhere in consideration, um, probably UX, how, how useful this is really in the real life, but it, it won't be a separate category here. And one thing that I changed here to the last time is this time I would like you to only submit native Android apps in Kotlin. So last time I permitted Java apps as well, but when I think about it, I'm actually just a Kotlin only channel here and using Kotlin is just the best thing for a native Android app nowadays. So yeah, that is something that I will require now because I want you to learn Kotlin and not practice your Java skills. <laughs> but that is pretty much it. Let's now get to the topic of this month's PAW, and that is helping developers to fix bugs. So you build an app that somehow helps developers to fix bugs and then submit that app on August 10th, 3 p.m. CST, 
And yeah, then I will review your submissions. As in the last video, you will get detailed feedback. So the, the top three winners, of course, not everybody, that would be too much. Um, the top three submissions will get detailed feedback regarding UX, UI, code. And I also got the question if I can review the code in more detail. So yes, I will probably do that for the next submission. But yeah, so help developers to fix bugs, build any app around this topic, any app that helps developers to fix their bugs, be very creative. This time I won't give you any ideas like the last time. So yeah, it's really your idea and not mine. Have fun doing that app. I really hope you can learn something with it. And yeah, that's basically the purpose of this PAW. No matter if you actually end up in the top three or not, the skills you learn in this, in, in, in making this app are also worth a lot. So that is it for this video. I wish you an excellent day and I will see you in the next video again. Bye bye.